I'm Mark Calloway, AC Applications Engineer for Man and Machine. Today I want to take a look at some of the new features available in AutoCAD 2019. The first feature I want to show you is the addition of the new web and mobile app ability within AutoCAD. We can now save our drawings online and these can be accessed either through AutoCAD on your desktop or laptop computer, from your mobile phone device or from any device with access to the web. To open up a drawing that you've already saved to the web and mobile app, we can do this on the home screen either from the quick access toolbar up here in the top or by going to the main menu and open. We can open our drawings from the AutoCAD web and mobile app. Here I've pre-saved an example drawing which if I select and click open will be open from the web. To save our drawings to the web we have a new function up in the quick access toolbar here or we can also go to save as and we have access to save our drawings to the AutoCAD web and mobile app here too. The next new feature in AutoCAD 2019 that I want to show you is the ability to compare two DWG files for changes. For example here I have an existing drawing. What I can do is from the main application menu go down to drawing utilities and I have this option here for DWG compare. Clicking this will allow me to open up two different versions of the same drawing and it's going to show me what's different between the two. So here I can select my first drawing which in this case is the one that I'm currently in and for the second DWG I just need to navigate to that click compare and AutoCAD is going to create a new drawing which can be saved and it's going to highlight any changes between the two different versions so running across the room bar at the top we can now change the draw order we can change the colors of the changes between the different DWGs We can access drawing information. We can choose whether we want text to be shown or not. We can choose whether we want hatch patterns to be shown or not. And we have the ability to turn on and off the revision clouds around the changes. We can customize these revision clouds. We can have them rectangular or polygonal. We can choose how big the margin is around the changes. And if we zoom in on one of these revision clouds, we have the ability to manually edit. We can also access the DWG Compare from the AutoCAD home screen. By going to the main application menu, we find the ability to do the DWG Compare. With no file already open, we have to choose our first DWG and the second DWG. Also within AutoCAD we have a new feature in which we can add named views as viewports onto our sheets. So I'm going to create a new view. I'm going to call it Office. I'm going to define what I want to be included within the named view. and that's now created a new named view called office if I go to a new sheet and go to the layout tab under layout viewports we have this new ability 
to insert view and clicking on the drop down will list all the named views that I have created. Selecting the named view I can now place this as a viewport on my sheet. This now acts in the same manner as a traditional viewport and can be fully customised. We also have the ability to control the scale whilst inserting a named view by right clicking before placing I can now choose the scale to insert the viewport. The next new feature that I would like to go through is we now have shared views within AutoCAD. By going to the Collaborate tab in the ribbon bar we have a new button for shared views. This will open up the shared views window in which we can create a new shared view. What this will do is create a new view of your drawing online which you can then share with other people. I'm going to go ahead and click new shared view. I'm going to click share what this is going to do is within the background this is going to create a new shared view which is represented by this icon down here in the bottom right which should only take a few seconds which once complete we can access through the web browser or by clicking the refresh button in the shared views window we now have access to the new shared view we've created By clicking on the options button in the top right hand corner we have the ability to view this in the browser. We can copy a link which we can share. We can extend the lease of this shared view which automatically expires after 30 days or we can delete the shared view that we've created. AutoCAD 2019 also gives us greater control of a graphics performance. In 2019 we have the addition to control 2D graphics performance which by using the command 3D config we now have a 2D displays setting section. By clicking on details we can expand our ability to control the options available or we can use the preset configurations available. I hope you have found this video insightful. If you would like further information about what other new features are available in AutoCAD 2019 or additional information on the features I've ran through, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you for watching.